Fast, fresh and simple, surely the criminals will be able to crack this recipe. Model Rachel, who's already cut herself once, should be slicing her mushrooms, not chopping them. This stir-fry is a far cry from Lisa's stodgy pie sandwich. Do you like chilli? Yeah, I love chilli. Well, you're going to enjoy the these, then. I'm that. going for a curry after. And again, you put your leaves in too early. Put your herbs in already. Teaching any of this lot is going to be a huge task, and both chefs are determined to choose the worst of the worst to make life as hard as possible for each other. Personal trainer Daniel is trying to show Angela what he's made of. Keep it in the pan, yeah? Cool. Cool, I love it. Now Rachel's getting rather confused. When did you pull your herbs in? These ones I just put in now. Well, what are you trying to do to it? That's ready, isn't it? Yeah. Serve, Serve it. it. Let's go. Ten seconds, please. Whatever you've got should be going on the plate now. Stop, guys. That's it. This is what Angela's chicken stir-fry should look like, but what have the kitchen criminals dished up? It's time for the final tasting. First up is pie sandwich girl Lisa, who seems to have fallen for John. There you go, guys. That's dry. No, 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 but first, the garnish. It's pretty. Kisses when, for you, John. Is this... <laughs> should you Listen. like me to go? I mean, <laughs> seriously, I'm, can I just say, I'm happy for you to taste can I, that. Can I just say, you would want to kiss me if I ate the whole bulb of garlic, okay. would you? OK, OK, OK. That's the first thing I'd say. Instead of worrying about your little crosses here, you should worry about the overall taste and texture. Is this not about presentation as well? Oh, oh, no. Rachel may be a Miss England finalist, but her cooking isn't winning her any admirers. Actually, you've gone down in my estimation, and you think because you're good-looking, you're <laughs> going to get around me. It's an R. It's an R. Now, <laughs> now you've upset me. This is a greasy, horrible cesspool. It really is. When did you put everything appalling. in? You put it all in at the and same time. And you cut them up like cat food. Look, little bits. I have to do very small. Why? Why? Yeah, Won't exactly. Work. There's no reason behind it. Won't work. Rubbish. Are you not going to taste it? No, I'm not tasting that. Lucy desperately wants to learn to cook so that she can feed her three children, Florence, Tilly and Harvey, properly. Where's the sauce in this dish? Soya? Do you put it's soya dry. balsamic? It's reduced. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a smart <laughs> of a liar. How much did you put, put in? I put sauce in there. I did. Lucy, that's horrible. Oh, don't. No, don't, don't get upset, don't. please, Lucy. Don't. Why are you upset? Oh, don't. Because you think Harvey's going to eat it. No, no, don't. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lucy, come back. <laughs> OK, guys, I think that was a pathetic waste of time, don't you, Angela? I do indeed. Goodbye. So it's all over. But who is bad enough for John and Angela to send to Cookery Boot Camp? Learning to cook means so much to all of them, and emotions are running high. I thought I'd progressed a little bit from the last dish, but they didn't seem to think so, and I just felt really bad, because that's the whole reason why I'm here, to, to learn to cook for my children, because I'm just sick of giving them heated-up food.